Welcome back. This Google Calendar tutorial is going to um, basically teach you how to keep your calendar organized, how to change subscriptions and to unsubscribe to things, how to hide calendars from your lists, and how to change your general calendar settings and your settings for each individual calendar. So the first thing that you can do under My Calendars, if you click the down arrow, um, it's going to bring up Settings. So you can select Settings. Now the first, it automatically brings you up to Calendars. Now this is where you can go through and quickly edit different things. So for instance, if you have 12 calendars created via Google Classroom and you don't actually use those in your Google Calendar, you can remove them from the list, which will take them from um, the sidebar on the left of your Google Calendar homepage so that they're not cluttered up in there um, allowing you to better navigate through your other calendars. You can quickly edit the notifications here, just like I showed you in the last one. Um, you can Oops. You can also unsubscribe to a calendar. So that specifically is helpful down here. Earlier I showed you how I was able to subscribe to coworkers' calendars. Let's say that I did that and I, I didn't mean to or I wanted to unsubscribe. All I have to do um, is click here, unsubscribe, and it's going to um, take me off of their calendar. Okay, so I'm going to do that here as well. This parade calendar is something that's already done. It was uh, for the Mummer's Day Parade, so I'm going to unsubscribe from it too because it's over with. Um, here you can see the Spring 2014 Running Club. So that was a calendar that we had obviously last year, you know. Um, so no need for me to, sh to have it here on my list, which I had already taken it out of. But now I'm actually going to unsubscribe because I don't even need access to it anymore. Also up here under General, there's lots of different things that you can do um, to kind of customize your Google Calendar. So, of course, you can change your time settings, your um, time zone, your country, all of those things. But you can also change the format of the date if you prefer it written a different way. You can change the format of your time to put it into military time. Uh, you can change the default event duration. So if you're finding that most of the events you're putting in are only 30 minutes and the default is 60 minutes, you can change that here. Uh, you can have the way that the week starts change, so you could start it on a Monday, uh, which I'm actually going to leave mine that way because I do prefer that when I'm looking at my work calendars. Uh, you can have it have Google Calendar actually send people a notification if they invite you to something that's outside of working hours, um, just so just so they know that you know you're not working at the time. Um, this is about dimming, so it just makes the events not as bright, which is sometimes helpful when you're managing your events because you look at them and you know the bright, bold ones are the most important ones um, or, you know, the, the ones that haven't happened yet. You can click to actually have the weekends removed from your view, which is very helpful, I feel like, for uh, work things, you know, if you're only looking at Monday to Friday. You can change the default view, which I'm actually going to change to month on mine because that's how I prefer it. So whenever I come into my Google Calendar, it'll automatically be on the month view, and then I can just change it if I want to. You can change the custom view to show different amounts of time if you prefer. You can add a calendar. You can have it show the weather. Um, you can have it list events even if you've declined them. Um, this is about... Uh, invitations to your calendar which we changed later or uh, in another spot but you can change those things as well here okay so any of the changes that you make just make sure you save and um, you'll be back into your home page now there are other settings and things that you can mess with but that gets a little bit more advanced um, and I'm honestly I've been using cal Google Calendar for a few years now and there are things that I haven't um, even touched on it so you know again like all the other Google um, applications there is a help uh, calendar help that you can go to um, and also you know the the WCPS area has other things other help things for you too if you need to go deeper than what I've gone here um, let's see. The other thing is very easily over here on the left, if you click on the individual calendar, you can hide it from the list right here. You can delete it, um, and you can do other things to it as well. One of the things is going under calendar settings. So this would change the settings for this calendar specifically, whereas what I showed you before is for all of your calendars in general. Okay, that's it for now. Up next, I will have um, how to use Google Calendar calendar on your mobile devices, including your iPad, Android, and iPhone.